Never give up on MTG Finance. They always find new and astonishing ways to surprise me. And one of them is Golgari Fug, which is from original Ravnica. It is in the dual deck. Is it versus Golgari? Copies of that are going for $10 now. It's $9.60 mid, and it has risen from its all-time low of $1.22. Most of the price rise has happened due to another dredge card being banned. Golgari Grave Troll says dredge 5. And in these type of decks, that's the only thing that really matters. Fog says dredge 4. So is it better? If you have Golgari Grave Troll, you would never play four copies of that. Uh, you would never play four copies of this without playing four copies of that because it's actually better. It's a, it's a significantly better card. However, since it got banned, we see a huge, huge price rise. And the next best card... So if you could have predicted Golgari Grave Troll would have been banned, which is difficult to do, um, even if you know a deck is tier 1 and doing incredibly well, sometimes it's hard to pick which card's going to be banned. But if you had that knowledge, and I'm sure people in Wizard of Coast did, you could really mess with the market so badly, because this one is incredibly easy to figure out. If Golgari Grave Troll gets banned, the next best dredge card goes up. The next best dredge card is Golgari Bug. And Eve, let's take a look at the dual deck Ace versus, versus Golgari. Before Dreads became a, a, a deck, uh, that dual deck you could buy for $14.99. I, I saw it on sale on Walmart with a 20% off sticker. It was an incredibly cheap dual deck. Now, one card, one uncommon reprint in that deck is $10. That is, to me, fascinating as both a someone who's interested in mtg finance and someone who looks at that and says that's crazy that is crazy when you think about it um, and obviously golgari grave troll was quite expensive as well so golgari that deck that dual deck i'm going to double check something because i really want to know was there only one golgari grave troll and or golgari fug in that deck um, or were there multiple ones because if it was two, man, if you have those decks sealed, you hit like a lottery. That's you, you typically don't see that very often. I'm pulling up the dual deck right now. But even without the FUG going up in price, the Grave Troll itself was quite valuable. And okay, so the dual deck is not pulling up. Anyways, incredibly valid speculation if you can predict the ban and i know i know a lot of people want to say right now hey i predicted this would be banned i predicted that would be banned if you did and if you knew for with a certainty then man you could have made a ton of money on this card it was selling for under it looks like it was selling for under two maybe a little bit over two dollars to three dollars selling for under three dollars and now it's ten dollars even if you buy list at five, let's say worst case scenario, the buy list is five because it's a hot card, you're two dollars ahead. And the fact is, people open tons of this because it came from a, a dual deck. What normally happens is a vendor will open all the dual decks, they will have 100, 200 copies of the card. So you can buy them all from one place. This has to be one of the best speculations ever for at least 2017, right? Anyway, leave me a comment below if somehow you got your hands on this card before it going up. Definitely an interesting, interesting card.